all you bear hunters out there, this is going to be an episode to watch. We're heading up to northern Manitoba with Glenn Hero of Blue Room Outdoors in the inner lake area between Lake Winnipeg and Lake Manitoba. Uh, Glenn's one of the best bear guides of all of uh, Manitoba. He's put many people on the biggest bears they've ever shot in their lives. So this is going to be an incredible trip. Uh, we're heading up with the uh, with my grandpa's 30-06. Uh, the, the last thing he gave to me right before he passed away. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great trip. I've been waiting to use this gun uh, on a special hunt like this. And behind the camera, Nick Johnson, a good friend. So this should be a great episode. Stay tuned. This is going to be a trip of a lifetime. Well, we got the paperwork all filled out. We're gonna load up in the Ranger and get out there. I think we're we're gonna be right over in there somewhere. Yeah, I'll just follow this field edge all the way down till we get right to that line of bush. And we're okay. Turn left and go down there. And uh, uh, if you got a bear down and you want to just start walking out to this field and get into some wind, you can just walk out there. So we got a picture of the uh, trail camera pick. That drum's 24 inches. He figures it's at 36. That's a big bear. That's a I think that's a really big bear. I think it's a good one. Wow, we're in Manitoba. Weather's beautiful. There's gonna be a lot of bears coming in, hopefully. We got two bears that are shooters. Glenn figures they're, they're 12 inches over the barrel out here, so if we see anything 12 inches higher than that barrel, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot. Got my grandpa's 30 out six. Um, this hunt's gonna mean a lot if we're able to use this. Uh, last time, um, last time I seen him was when he gave me this gun, so it could be an emotional one, but we're excited. We're in the stand. It's the first night. We're gonna make it happen. myself reflecting on our trip so far. I reflect on the pure excitement of the possibilities of both the hunt and adventure. But most of all, I reflect on how blessed I feel. As long as I can remember, I was dreaming about an opportunity to be sitting in this tree. And as every minute ticks away in this beautiful landscape, I know it's only a matter of time that a harvest could become a reality. Claim Your Trophy Television is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Lock and Load Hunting Blinds, manufactured and built with pride in the USA. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. Patax IGA. 
proudly serving the Prescott area for over a hundred years. Also brought to you by Solar Sportsman, Uncle Kurt's Deer Mineral, Sakura's Taxidermy, and Agent Dave French of Weiss Realty. Hey Stewie, did you hear what happened last fall to Buck? Well now, Steve, what happened? Some hunter turned him into Patax IGA maple sticks. I sure hope I don't get turned into maple sticks this fall. Yeah, he's not slowing down either. I haven't seen Daisy in over a week. They're so good. I think I've ate about a pound of these so far. And Patax does a great job of processing our meat. Patax IGA, proudly serving Western Wisconsin for over 100 years. With a custom solar installation from All Energy Solar, you can lock in energy rates and start on the path to decades of energy savings. Plug in to the new standard of electricity with solar and make a real difference for your home, the environment, and the future. With a solar installation, you'll purchase a channel to the free, unlimited, and clean energy of the sun. Start on the path to energy savings today by contacting All Energy Solar or visiting allenergysolar.com. to give the sweet to it. We nicknamed the bear. Looks like quite a bit of goodies back here. It's day two in Manitoba. We passed a little bear yesterday, showed it to Glenn. Sure enough, that's the bear we're after. He figures he's around 225, uh, which in the in the fall, he's, he's over a 300 pound bear. So it's, that's kind of a no brainer anywhere you are. So we've nicknamed him Sweet Tooth. Glenn's brought him in some more, uh, some more candy and uh, strawberries and some other stuff so he comes back in today we're gonna we're gonna take him so we're gonna sit tight it's pretty early it's about one o'clock same temperature as yesterday a little bit windier but uh, it's a decent wind direction for us so we're gonna sit tight and see what happens it's simply hard to imagine how such a large animal can move through the thick brush so quietly they have an incredible ability to walk the exact same trail left by previous bears, allowing them to be absolutely silent and making for their approach to the bait a complete surprise.
read it. There's another one. That is a big bear. That is a really big, I mean, look at this other one. This other one's coming back. Manitoba, what can you say? Glenn's been trying to get us on a bear called Sweet Tooth. He came in yesterday, we passed him up. It was the first bear we've seen. Come back out today, same spot. We have two different bears come in earlier. We passed them up and then a giant comes in. And these are spring bears. So they're about 30% less than what they weigh in the fall. but. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Can you? <laughs> Planning, scouting, and marksmanship only get you so far. Successful hunting is about giving yourself the right opportunity. And the best opportunity isn't always at your stationary stand. But that's where Traveling Tower has your solution. It's simple, mobile, and sets up in minutes. ATV, UTV, or pickup. In any situation, location becomes your ally. Give yourself the best opportunity, wherever that may be. Find out more at TravelingTower.com. I feel great on the shot. It looked good, didn't it look good? Yeah, we heard the death moan. And to do it with this gun, one of the last times I seen before my grandpa passed away, he gave me this gun. And he did a hunting trip up in Canada. And I've always wanted to use this gun. I've been waiting to use it, and this is this was a perfect hunt, and uh, this would be a great way to remember him. I'm a little afraid to get out of the tree right now because we got another bear down there. Well, here we are. We tagged out second day in Manitoba. Glenn put us on the bears. This is our fifth bear that we've seen on the second night. Uh, we didn't get a chance to film a recovery simply because there was another bear in the area. Glenn came in with the uh, the ranger and kind of spooked it off, and then I came in with the uh, with the rifle and backed him up on the recovery. Absolutely an incredible hunt. Uh, Manitoba is definitely where the bears are. Had the hunt of our life and was able to experience it with a great friend behind the camera and uh, looking forward to doing it again. So we had a pretty big surprise for Nick. Glenn and I talked on the phone a couple weeks back and, and we decided that uh, if we were able to tag out early on my bear then uh, we'd surprise Nick with a hunt of his own. So you'd like to have a bear like this? Oh absolutely. And uh, guess what? <laughs> What's that? Nick and I decided to take you on the last two days on your own bear hunt. <laughs> really? Yep. Wow. You got time for that? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> really? This is 
unreal. All right, we're finally set up. I can't believe it. I'm bear hunting in Manitoba. We got the bait set up here about 50 yards in front of us. We got a nice open field here. We can see the bears coming from virtually any direction. Uh, we're really not sure which way they're going to come out from, but um, it's nice and cool, so it should be a pretty beautiful sit tonight. I am absolutely jacked. Can't wait for the bears to start coming in. Well, we uh, went out and looked for blood. Didn't find anything. No hair, no blood. We actually looked. We watched both cameras, reviewed the footage, went frame by frame, and it looks like I shot just right under him. And uh, the second bear that came out is actually probably that same bear. Uh, the one I shot at darted off into the into the bush here, and then just a few minutes later, one came out of the bush behind the bait. And uh, I snapped a whole bunch of photos of them, got a bunch of footage of them. And uh, in looking at the two bears, it appears to be the same bear. And based on the frame-by-frame -frame footage, it looks like I missed. I'm still going to wait for Glenn to get here and find out what to do, but sounds like I don't have a wounded bear. I think we just clean missed him. Pretty disappointed that I missed, but relieved that I didn't wound him. But... I guess all this means is we just got one more day to hunt. What's my land worth? All realtors are the same, right? Wrong. Whether you're looking to buy or sell hunting or farmland in western Wisconsin, partner with a local land expert that knows the market and can get answers to your tough questions. Not all land is created equal, and the same goes for real estate agents. Contact Dave French of Weiss Realty to realize your land ownership and sales goals. He's got the right tools to get you off the beaten path. Join the hunt. Traveling Tower and Lock and Load present the 4x4 Hunting Blind with four sides that easily slide together and lock in place. Insulated with a 1-inch Poly R11 equivalent foam. Made with recycled plastic and aluminum walls making it non-corrosive. With each side weighing 18 pounds, one person can set it up in less than two minutes without tools. With a solid weatherproof roof, the 4x4 comfortably accommodates one person, gear, and a comfortable chair, making it a perfect addition for your hunting arsenal. Well, we just got set up here. We're uh, in our third different bait site in the last four days. And uh, this looks like a good spot. Glenn says they've just been hammering this bait. We saw a bear on the way in across the road. Uh, so hopefully we can get this done shortly. It's the last day of the uh, season here in Manitoba. So we're looking to punch tag number two and be on our way home.
Go ahead and hit him again. You hit him good. You hit him good. You hit him good. You hit him good. He's down right there. He went 15 yards. Down. He's down, baby. Wait, 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 wait. There he's moaning. <laughs> Just shot a black bear, baby. Grandpa's gun. Did it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just <laughs> shot a bear. We are tagged out in Manitoba. Two days ago I was filming one. Had no idea I'd get a chance to hunt one and I just shot a black bear. How quick was that? We only had been sitting here for like an hour. Unbelievable. Hey, great shot. If you're gonna hunt black bears, you have to come to Manitoba. We've literally sat four different hunts, four sits. We've seen bears every single time. Woo! Nice. Glenn, I think that's the bear from yesterday. I think it very well, very well could be. Thank well, you know. Glenn, thank you so much. My pleasure. Blue Room Outdoors, Northern Manitoba. You put us on two bears in, uh, in four days. Well, actually, you put us on a bear every night. Um, this is actually our 11th different bear um, we've had in, in four afternoon sits. This is incredible. So you definitely have the bears up here. Yeah, we're, uh, I don't know what the bear density is, but we've got no problem finding bears for the guests. It just seemed to work out every time. Right. This, this has been incredible. And to surprise you with the hunt, this has been, uh, this has been a fun one. I'm still just kind of speechless about the whole thing. <laughs> I, just, I guess if I'd known, I wouldn't have had you pass that one on day one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a blast. It was great being in the tree with you yeah, in fun. the blind. Just a really incredible hunt. I'll remember this forever. Yeah, this is definitely the most memorable bear hunt I've ever been on. This has been fun. And to be able to do it with your grandpa's rifle, too, made Absolutely. it that much more special. <laughs>